the Mountain West Conference title game. Fresno T- State traveling up to Boise, Idaho to take on the Broncos. The Broncos minus three and a half and the total at 54. That is not high enough, in my opinion. Cold weather, but clear weather and no wins. And Boise State, which was a corpse offensively, now has freshman Taylor Green, who has been a savior for them offensively. In the last five here games, the they're week. averaging here are the week. Here, here, here are the week. week. Last five games, they're averaging 36 points per game. He's also, just by his, you know, dual threat quality that he brings to the offense, he's pumped life back into George Halani, who's now absolutely cooking. So this running game is going to be able to keep pace with a Fresno State passing game, which we talked about Jake Hayner in the preseason. He was our G5 All-American, our quarterback pick. He's back to his winning ways. 54 to me is a touchdown shy of where it should be. If this was at 60, it'd be a pass for me. I love the over in this spot. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. This is actually an old whack rivalry back to like the David Carr days, the Ryan Dinwiddie days of Boise state before, you know, they became that famous household brand. I'm excited about this game a lot. I think it's going to be a great one. I know that it's to a certain degree, the G five this year has been a little bit of a letdown because very early, you know, by mid October, the writing was on the wall that we were not even going to get a team that was going to flirt with the college football playoff, which by the way, if Tulane had found a way to win in a single possession loss against UCF and you know close loss to Southern Miss. If they were undefeated right now, does Tulane like are they on the outside looking in? Are they in that five to six range with Ohio State needing TCU or USC to lose? Like that's an interesting hypothetical, but that's not how it shook out. So we just have to appreciate these games for what they are. And this matchup right here are two heavyweights in the Mountain West Conference. It was early on in the season, at least it looks like Boise was not going to be able to carry their weight and really get it together on offense, but they have. I'm excited about this one. I'm going best bet over 54. What do you think about the total here? I actually like that a lot. You said your best bet's the over. My best bet is that this will be the best game of the G5. This this honestly may be the best game of the weekend, but I think this is the best, going to be the best game of all the G5 conference games. I think this is going to be an awesome game. You mentioned the old rivalry. This is actually, even since they went to the Mountain West, this is the fourth time these two teams will meet in the Mountain West Championship in the last nine years. Boise State won 2014 and 2017. Fresno State won it in 2018. Each of the last two games have been decided by just three points. And we mentioned that 2018 season, by the way, Jeff Tedford, head coach, that was the last last season before he he left the following season after health reasons. Now his first year back, brings them back to the championship game. This is a something's got to give game. Because on one hand, Boise State is 7-1 and since Taylor Green took over as a starting quarterback. Their only loss was by three points with less than two minutes to play against Boise, uh, BYU. On the other hand, Fresno State is 6-1 and one in games with Jake Hayner. And even with Hayner missing the, a third of the season, the Bulldogs finished 15th in the country in success rate on offense, top 25 run and pass. We've talked about them all year. Hayner, uh, Moreno Cropper, Nico Remigio, Zane Pope, Jordan Mims. This, this offense is loaded. They're the best offense in the conference, and they're going up against the best defense in the conference. Boise State's fourth in the country in success rate on defense. They are number one in the nation against the pass. They are so good at getting their hand on the ball and breaking up passes. That being said, you know, I, I don't totally hate your over either. I do think as good as this Boise defense is, I think Hayner's good enough to overcome that. I think he's still going to get his. He's, he's unbelievable. And the, the one area Boise State does struggle is giving up big plays against the pass. Their secondary is sick. They're really good. They have great hands. Like I said, they, I think they're third in the country and pass is broken up. But sometimes they gamble. Sometimes they'll dive to break up a pass. And if they miss, it's a house call. So I do think points can be scored here. They put, these two teams played earlier this year. Boise State won 40 to 20, but that was without Hayner. And while the defense was torched on the ground by, you mentioned Talati, uh, and um, Gentry has been awesome too. This freshman running back is going to be sick. But they did keep, keep Taylor Green in check. They held him to 127 yards passing and just 22 yards rushing on 11 carries. I think the Fresno State defense is a little bit better than they get credit for. This is another game where if you listen to us preseason, I have a Fresno State plus 300 ticket. They're dog here and i'm still letting it ride again hedging is still for cowards i like i thought i said Fresno state was gonna win the conference before the season i still think they're gonna win it but i do think this is gonna be a very close game this is one of those games where 
I'm pretty confident it'll be decided by three points or less on either side. If you gave me Boise State plus three and a half, I would take it. Fresno State plus three and a half, I would take it. That's what I'm getting right now. Three in the hook. If it went to two and a half, I'd probably switch to kind of your over. I do like that as well. But I'm taking the Bulldogs plus three and a half. I just think this comes down to the end. I think it's going to be back and forth contest. I think Jake Hayner is the best player in this game. I think Jeff Tedford is the best coach in this game. So give me the Bulldogs. I think they get it done. I think they get revenge. Like I said, Boise, Boise beat up on them in that first game, but that was without Hayner. Now they have him back. I think he's just too good here. I'm, I'm taking the Bulldogs. You brought up Boise's defense, and I think they are certainly a bona fide top 15 defense, but they have feasted on some really bad Mountain West Conference offenses. And when you look at that game that you mentioned, their loss to BYU, Jaron Hall, 377 yards, three passing touchdowns. They ran for 155 as well. I think that's what we're going to see. That game hits 59. I think we're going to see this game in the low to mid 60s. I think it's going to cruise past it. And it's really going to come down to big plays. And the fact that Boise finally can bring something to the table in that category with Green's athleticism, I think that's going to help aid the sober. 